Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is an Arky style jig and it's going to be bucktail. Um, it's going to be a pattern I call Allegheny Craw. Um, it's pretty prevalent here on the East Coast. Uh, my waterways have a lot of this craw and I use this particular jig at this time of the year. Um, it's one of the few warm water hair jigs that I use. Uh, we're going to get started here in the vise. We have a quarter ounce Arky style jig with a 2 watt VMC 7161 uh, 60 degree jig hook. Uh, you could use a 3 aught or a 4 aught. You can make this 3 8 half ounce, whatever. Um, I like it with the 2 watt in this jig because it keeps it a compact profile. And this is going to be the size of the craws that our uh, bass really go after this time of year. So uh, let's get started with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. Danville is the one I like to use. Feel free to use whatever you like. Let me get our base started. This ain't going to be very complicated. I put a weed guard and a trailer on this too because so I can show you is how I actually use this. So we're going to start out. First thing we're going to use is brown bucktail. And we're going to make this uh, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter behind the actual hook. Behind the bend of the hook. Because this is going to flare out some. Which is why I like this Arky jig for this. So after I measure it where I want it, I'm going to trim the, the bucktail. Some of the short pieces out. Make a couple wraps just to hold it in place. And you'll see a couple short ones there falling out. And once I get it, I want it halfway around, not all the way, just half. And we're going to button it down. Might be able to use a little more. Not much, just a little bit. I had some cut here so I could just take the pieces and again measure it out and trim it off. And the only reason I cut the bucktail ahead of time is try to save some time so you're not watching anything like that. Just want a little bit more bucktail here at the bottom of it. And we're good. We're going to button that down. So now we got our bucktail in place there. Now we're going to do the upper end of it. And we're going to take some. Olive bucktail. I know it's hard to see. I should have wore a different color shirt. The blue doesn't work well with the green pumpkin, and but uh, I apologize for that. So we're going to take our olive, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lay it out here against what I already have tied in, and we'll trim it. And we're going to tie this right in the, the middle here. And, of course, there are some short ones. That happens with bucktail. Don't get alarmed. Um, we could use some more there. And we got some already cut. Lay it out what I already have it against. should say lay it out against what I already have. Speaking German here. Make 
sure the loose ones are out. And I got it enough. I got enough all the way around. Which I do. I thought I... I thought I jumped the shark there. I thought I was a little uneven. And uneven isn't going to hurt nothing. If you're tying this for the first time, don't worry about getting it exact. If you don't have it exact, and it's going to hurt nothing. It's going to work just the same. I want to make sure my collar is nice and tight. Might have a little extra thread, but uh, it's going to ensure that this isn't going to fall apart. Now, I got my brown and my olive bucktail tied in. We're going to take just a small little bunch of a uh, orange bucktail and tie that in a little bit on each side. A little bit of orange on this because uh, this late summer, early fall, these uh, the craws here, this Allegheny craw, actually has, they have um, orange tipped claws. So I like to have just a little bit of orange in this pattern. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to take a little clump of the orange and get some of these short ones pulled out. Lay it against what I have and trim. I'm going to tie it in on the opposite side. I want to make sure it's even, meaning it's tied in the exact same spot it is on the other side. Again, if you're a little off, it's no big deal. And once we have that, we'll finish it up the wraps. Whip finish. Five, six. Cinch it again. Trim it. Some Sally Hansen's. Hard as nails. All the way around. And we're just about done. The next step, we're going to put in a green pumpkin uh, weed guard. Very simple. After I get it out of the vise, I'm going to take this to make sure nothing pulls out. Make sure my bucktail's even. And we're going to take some Loctite Super Glue gel. And it's important if you use Super Glue, it's super glue gel. The regular super glue, the liquid will wick up the fibers and it'll look a mess. It'll be all white. So we put the super glue gel in, put our weed guard in, and that's what we have so far, but we're not done. Here's what I'm going to use for a trailer. This is a conquistador. Got a piece of bucktail on there. This is a Conquistador Craw Chunk, Finesse Pro Craw Chunk. Um, you get these at Tackle Warehouse. This is a color called Orange Craw. Um, this works perfect with this 2 watt hook on an Arky jig. Uh, I found it a couple years ago, and it's been really good. And the reason I like this Orange Craw color with this pattern is you got this, like, or it's, it's actually a watermelon, but it still works well with this color. And you got these translucent orange claws with a little bit of um, golden orange flake in there. Really, 
works well with this jig. So we're going to take our little trailer here and we're going to thread it on. get my pliers so you can see this that don't work with the weed guard that little bucktail is really good right this time of year because um, we're almost in a, the water temps have climbed back up almost into a summertime pattern. The fish are real tight to cover. They're not, um, they're not yet in that fall feed mode, but this will get them. This is the one time of the year where I like this bucktail archie style jig. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.